Oh, here we go. All right, let's let's do some randomy. We're gonna find out who gets what team in the break. Seven times through for the owner names. We're gonna random the owner names seven times. We're gonna random the teams as well, and then we're gonna see uh, how things pan out. Who gets what team? Good luck getting the Mariners. Here's a lucky number seven. Mariners are going to be the best team to own. But there are a lot of other great teams in here. The, the Yankees, no, let's see, it's the Brewers with Gary Sheffield. The Brewers were, was his rookie team. Let's see. So the first random is finished. And so we got the owner names finished and into the spreadsheet right here. So let's start up the team random. Good luck, everybody. Like I was saying, uh, there's a number of really good teams to own in those. So be ready. Seven times. Lucky. Number. Seven. Ha, <laughs> So who's got the Seattle Bears? It's Greg J. Greg, one of the best teams is right there. Uh, Atlanta Braves are going to be pretty good, Joe. I know there's uh, uh, Randy Johnson, John Smoltz. I think Smoltzy ought to be in this. Uh, or at least Glavin. Uh, Randy Johnson would be with the Mariners, right? How about... Um, gosh, there's going to be a lot of good teams. So I want to wish everybody good luck. You got the Gary Sheffield possibilities there, Joe. And um, yeah, let's let's get to it. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna put this in alphabetical order by team name. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Throwback stuff going on here. Like I said, we do have another box of this. So this is only $3.99. And there's some great big valuable rated rookies, especially if we're able to somehow get a 10 to come out of uh, some of the big names. $89 Dunruss. I'm going to make my cut right here and try not to damage the box too much. You can see, by the way, I do want to show this during the video. This is very, this is very uh, uh, good to note that it is, it is factory sealed. It is uh, authenticated to be factory sealed. It's like been double checked. Okay, this has not been tampered with at all until right now. Let's go ahead and tamper with this thing. <laughs> Let's do some tampering. <laughs> We're going to tamper with it. Oh, yeah, we're going to do some tampering right now, my friend. All 
I don't think these came with gum. Oh, yeah. I remember all the puzzle cards. Who was it? Willie Stargo? Was it the Pirates? Yeah, maybe these do got gum in them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hope these aren't really hard to rip. They do feel like little bricks. See, the packs are stuck together. So far, so good as far as quality of card. Nothing was stuck together. Okay, that's going to be Stan Musial or Hank Aaron for the puzzle. So this is going to be fun. I want to get, let's see, I want to get the optimum focus point. This is probably good enough. There's the puzzle. We're going to see a lot of puzzle pieces. There's Kurt Schilling. Hope. Kurt Schilling. Well, the centering's not bad. I mean, we could the, see the, this is telling us something about the box. Um, that hey that you know what these these don't look bad i mean it, it's quite a good sign you know it'd be something if the centering was off on all these it'd be like oh great but so far so good so far so good I'm, that makes me really happy because i want to get everybody the best quality and biggest hit i can get for everybody out of here it might be easier for me to do this without gloves Maybe easier. Definitely not going to get fingerprints on the card. Don't, don't got to worry about fingerprints. Because they're not really high gloss. Even. It's not like we're ripping prism. Another puzzle card. Get a little bit of zoom on here. Greg Olson, he was such a big one right and during this time frame. Everybody had high hopes for him. He did pretty good. Dave Rigetti. Come on, Griffey Jr. Come on, rated rookie Griffey Jr. Marty Barrett. Willie McGee. Dennis Eckersley, Carlos Quintana, Tim Raines, David Cohn. So in 1989, I was nine years old. And I was collecting and I had a pretty good collection going already at that age of nine. Jose Canseco. Chris Carpenter.
Come on, Griffey Jr., rated rookie. Let's see it. Dennis Oil Can Boyd for the Red Sox. The Oil Can. Nice Carlton Fisk. And, of course, the Twins first baseman. Tried to pull somebody off the bag. I think it was Otis Anderson. Tried to pull him off the bag in the World Series. <laughs> Otis Nixon. Tried to pull him off first base and tag him out. It's hilarious. It was like it was like, did he pull him off the bag? I mean, I'll never forget that. That was in ninety or ninety one that Kent Herbert did that. Lenny Dykstra. Might have been 92 World Series. The Twins went to the World Series that year against the Braves in 91 or 92. Jack McDowell, Felix Jose, Ray the Rookie, Frank Faola. That's right, we are definitely tampering. Is that a Greg Jeffries? Okay, I know we're going to see a Greg Jeffries. I think I had 10 Ray the Rookies of Greg Jeffries. George Brett, Pina Clavada. Maybe Greg Jeffries was 88, though. Mm. <coughs> oh, Stewart would know. He's a Mets fan. Jack McDowell, Randy Johnson, boom. Yes, sir. Oh, it's got a little bit of something there at the bottom. It's not going to grade it a 10. She's not going to grade it a 10, fellas. It's a great card to have. It's an Expos. I thought he would be with the Mariners. Uh, in his 89 upper deck card, I think he's a Mariner. So. But this card is, is clearly an Expos card. Maybe we can get one that's going to grade out of 10. This is in good condition, but you can see there's just a little something right there on the bottom of the card. And that's why 10s are so valuable. because sometimes coming right out of the pack, they are not going to meet that standard. Sometimes you just there's nothing you can do about it. Wally Backman. But I think that's a good sign for us. Uh, it is the Expos, right? That's an Expos. Yeah, that's an Expos raid rookie. So who's hitting the Expos? Who's got, who's got, um, Joe. Okay. Joe has Montreal. Nice going, Joe. It's beautiful. Uh, Randy Johnson raid rookie there. That's beautiful. Oh, here comes a Will Clark MVP card. Wally Joyner. Should be a Bo Jackson in this, too. Yeah, we'll see Bo Jackson. Of course, with the Royals. Sierra, Tom Gordon.
Good luck, everybody, in the box break. Hope you hit something big in 89 Dunruss. Just got to take a minute to get things organized. As we continue to go through looking for the King Griffey Jr. rated rookie and some of the other greats out of Dunruss. So far, we've had a Randy Johnson. Expose. Rated rookie. Those are the puzzle cards. Mike Harvey, rated rookie. Mark McGuire. Hope everybody's having a great evening. It's a great, fun rip. I'm, I'm having so much fun ripping these. And I hope we pull a King Griffey Jr. Very happy, though. We, we've had Randy Johnson. It was only $3.99. We have another break like this, too. For $3.99, a team, it's just really good. It's hard to beat that. Especially when you have a chance at so many nice hits. Not just King Griffey Jr. It's Gary Sheffield. It's so many different rated rookies and 89s. Joe Carter, Ozzy Heehan, So the centering has looked good on most all of these. Uh, the quality coming out in these packs is good. If we pull a King Griffey Jr., it's likely to have pretty good centering and everything. Because uh, usually if you get bad centering, it's consistent for the whole box or packs. And everything we're seeing is everything looks pretty lined up. George Bell, he was pretty good back in the day. Andy Van Slyke, there's Andre Dawson, the Hawk. Nice Dawson, Ron Darling. Yeah, there's no bubble gum in these. No bubble gum. Tops Tops was big with the bubble gum and bazooka. Dave Henderson, Ozzy Smith, the Wizard. Ron Gant. I think it was Ron Gant Herbert pulled off of first base. That's who it was. Come on, Griffey Jr. Let's see it. Griffey Jr.
Chris Sabo. There he is again. Halfway through the box, one Randy Johnson has come out. There's been a couple other good cards halfway through the box. We've seen Dawson, Canseco, and McGuire. But those are not the big ones we're really looking for. We're looking for the rated rookies. We're looking for the Gary Sheffields. Jack Clark. Mark Langston. Robin Yunt. Cecil Fielder. <sighs> Looks like we got Tony Gwynn, right? Oh, there's Wade Boggs. Two really good uh, Hall of Famers. Don Mattingly, we got a Hall of Fame pack so far. Ricky Henderson. There's a Smoltz. Ho! Ho! That is a great John Smoltz card to have. Congratulations. That looks like it great out at a 10. Look at there. Gary Sheffield. Oh, my. Brewers. Braves. Right there. All right. Now we're cooking. We've had some of the big ones. Come out of the break. Expos. That's Montreal. We've had three really good ones. That looks like it could grade out at a 10. Well, wait a minute. No, look at there. Look at that little bit of damage on the right for the Gary Sheffield. Not going to be a 10. It's just a, a little bit of something right there. Pretty good pack, though. We had John Smoltz. That John Smoltz looks like a great out of 10. Smoltzy. Yeah, I thought that was kind of wild, too. We had that backward card. But these have been certified. This is a certified box that it's it's certified to be unopened and untampered with. So I have complete confidence in that company. It's it's the most noted company with the most notoriety. I showed it off at the beginning of the break. You can see all about that company. They are the most. There is is they're extremely. There's Jack Morris. They're well respected, and if they say no one's tampered with it, I agree. I think that no one's tampered with it these at all. And that for for everything that I can see, uh, that it points to being a, a true authentic box break. It doesn't. It, the cards feel like they should, like they're powdery. They're a little powdery. There's Mookie Wilson. Like if there was no powder feel. Then I would be, I'd be like, something's really off. Keith Hernandez, Dawson. Yeah, it's three ninety nine to get in this, and we're looking for King Griffey Juniors. Come on, Griffey Junior. We've seen a lot of the big ones, but not Griffey Junior. We've had Randy Johnson, Gary Sheffield, John Smoltz, rated rookies of Sheffield and Smoltz and Johnson. Raphael Palmiro.
Griffey Jr., come on, Griffey. Where are you? Where are you, Griffey Jr.? Carlton Fisk. Mark Grace. He's an 88 rookie. Mark Grace is, I believe. Yeah, he's 88. So is Greg Jeffries. I'm pretty sure Greg Jeffries was 88 for the Mets. <laughs> I'm Glavin. Ho. Oh, nice Glavin. Nice. Braves owner. That's a good looking card right there. Way to go. There's Frank Viola. This one's kind of bent up a little bit. But it's all right. It's just part of the game, man. Some of these are, are not going to come out as 10s. Can't, there's nothing we can do about it. Some of them are just not going to be a 10. It has nothing to do with, with uh, us here at Friendly Collectibles. It's just in these older packs, you just don't know if something's going to have a little wear and tear on it. But most of these have been really good condition. Oh, right. Ho. Now, this is our second Randy Johnson. And talking about quality, this is high quality. This, this one is in very tip-top condition. I don't see any blemishes on this one. So, I think that would be, that's definitely better than the other one. And that one has a true shot at being a 10. There's a Smoltzy. All right, and this Smoltz, well, this is our second Smoltz, and looks looks really solid. Really solid card there, so that adds to the pot here. That adds to, to the overall, you know, I'm trying to decide, is this a good box? And I think it does. It's turned into a good box. We've had two Randy Johnson rated rookies. So that right there, and a Gary Sheffield Ray Rookie, that right there, I have to say that that's a d decent box. I mean, I think that's a pretty good box, but we need we need the icing on the cake. Won't be truly happy if, until we pull a Griffey Jr., but that's not bad to have two Randy Johnsons and a Gary Sheffield. There's Sandberg. Dave Winfield, Doug Drabeck, <laughs> Kevin Mitchell, haven't said his name in a long time, Kevin Mitchell, <laughs> oh my gosh, remember that guy, <laughs> sure Mark, sure bro, <laughs> Terry Pendleton. There's Bobby Witt Sr. We, we, you know, Bobby Witt Jr.'s uh, really big. There's Bobby Witt Sr. I mean, I think that was, that must have been Bobby Witt Sr. I mean, I'm pretty sure I, I should, I, I kind of was guessing at that, but I think I was right. 
that that was like Bobby Witt Jr.'s dad. <laughs> anyway, um, fun stuff going through some 89 Dunruss. Let's hit big. Let's hit big. Dave Henderson, Craig Biggio. Ho, Craig Biggio, I think so, a big one. That was Mike Schmidt. Is that Biggio's rookie? Yeah. Isn't that Biggio's rookie? So we've had Smoltz rookie cards. We, we, that just, that was a good hit. That looks like it's in great condition. Congratulations to the Astros owner. We're going to highlight that one. Mark C picking up Biggio. It ain't over till it's over, Mark. Ho, it ain't over till it's over. Isn't that what Yogi Berra once said? That's Yogi Berra's quote. Roger Clemens, Rocket Roger, Larry Sheets, Mike Greenwell. <laughs> uh, yes, Mike Greenwell for the Red Sox. Awesome left fielder. That left field wall is hard to play. I mean, when you're playing for the Red Sox, left fielder is always an interesting position for any Red Sox player because you got to play off that wall. Tony Pena talking about old school Red Sox. He was a he was a Red Sox guy. Tony Pena for a little while. Doug Jones, Fred McGriff, the Crime Dog, and then there's Vince Coleman, uh, base stealing legend Vince Coleman. There's Mike Greenwell, Kurt Schilling. <laughs> We've had two Kurt Schillings for the Orioles owner, Joe S. Not bad for three ninety nine a team, so I'm ready to do it. I'm ready. We've got one pack left. I'm ready to pull a Griffey Jr. out of this pack. I'm not giving up or anything. There's Ozzy Yeen. Come on, Griffey Jr. There's Greg Olson. Nolan Ryan. Ho! I can't help it. That's got to go into a top loader. Can't help it. All right. So here we go. Final pack, everybody. Good luck in 89 Dunras. Final pack here. Tony Gwynn. Where is Griffey Jr.? Could this be a Gary Sheffield? Oh, it's not. Franco is an all star. Gary Carter. All right, so good things. We had a great break, and there was some very nice rated rookies in here. Two Randy Johnsons, one Gary Sheffield. So a recap. Trying to keep these things as in good a condition as I can, but I do want to recap the biggest hits. All these will be top loaded. All right. Hope. That's our box break. Ain't that dunnerous?